Hello guys, let me show you in this video how you can overclock your GPU to win that extra performance that your graphic card is hiding and how to make it safely. Let's start. For this method that I use, that I have always used, we need two pieces of software. So I'm going to let you guys the links in the description down below and you want to download them. One of them is MSI Afterburner. This is the tool that we are going to be using for overclocking our GPU. It doesn't matter if you have an NVIDIA, an AMD, or if your graphic card is from another manufacturer. This software is going to work with all of them. To download it, you want to click right here into download afterward. Now, the second piece of software that we need is Ballet Benchmark. I know this is an older software, but it's really good to test the stability of your system once you do your overclocking. After you have downloaded and installed both of the softwares, you want to open MSI Afterburner. And the first thing that we're going to be running right now is one run of Ballet Benchmark to see our results. You want to open it and I recommend you guys to choose a custom preset, select in direct X11, quality in ultra, monitor single anti aliasing off, and the resolution of the system resolution that you have. You want to click into run, and when the software loads, in the top left corner, you're going to see benchmark. Click on it and wait until the benchmark is done. Now that we have a baseline, you want to close the Unigini Valley benchmark and let's start overclocking from MSI Afterburner. Now, one thing that I forget to mention, guys, every graphic card is going to be different. So I'm really sure that, for example, the graphic card that I have upstairs in my other PC can overclock really well. This one, I still don't know it. I'm going to make it together with you guys. And that is the Silicon Lottery. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But every little bit of performance extra that you can achieve is going to be good. So let's start. Now, the first thing that you want to do is to open right here into the gear, into the left side, the settings, and you want to check these three marks, unlock voltage control, unlock voltage monitoring, and force content voltage. Now, one recommendation as well is to go into the fan tab above and enable user-defined software automatic fan control. And you want to make this a little bit more aggressive. Because, of course, by overclocking our GPU, it's going to generate more heat, and the colder it stays, it's better for it, it's going to achieve a higher overclock, and it's going to boost for longer. Now, click into Apply, and then into OK. It's going to get a little bit loud, but if you want more performance, you want to try it. If you see that you can achieve the same overclock, and turning down a little bit the fan speed, you can try that. Now, let's bump up the core voltage all the way up. This is something that... I'm not sure if this really does something to the GPU, but set it up to the maximal percentage just in case. Now you want to pump up the power limit and it's going to pop up as well the temperature limit. And we want to start with a small overclock. Let's set in the core clock 100. Press enter. And now one thing that you guys have to know, don't click right now the apply at Windows startup. As well as in the settings, don't set it as start with Windows right now. Just in case you make an overclock that is way too big, this is going to create a boot loop all the time in your PC because it's going to try to run the graphic cards at a higher speed that cannot achieve and it's going to crash all the time. So do all the testing before you set it up to automatically start with Windows and apply the overclock. Once you have done the 100 megahertz, you want to click right here into the check mark to apply the changes. And now let's run by the benchmark once more. Now, as you can see, we jump from 135.9 average FPS to 143. That is already a good improvement. Now close once more the Valley Benchmark. And what you want to do right now is to pump up the core clock, let's say by 25 or 50, by every increment. And you want to stop in the moment that you start to see visual artifacts in the screen or the benchmark or your PC crashes. In that moment, then you have to remember what core clock you set up right here and turn it down a little bit, let's say by 15 points. 
After every change, of course, don't forget to click into the apply button. If not, it's not going to apply the changes and you're going to be still running at plus 100. Now let's run one more time the benchmark. And I don't know if you guys got that, but for me it crashes. So this one is not a pretty good overclock of a graphic card. So I want to set up my core clock a little bit lower. Let's set it up to 125. Press enter and click into apply. And now I want to run the benchmark once more. Well, I have seen that the maximal that I can achieve with this graphic card is 110. Now you can start overclocking your memory clock. Again, guys, starting increments of 50 or 100 until you start to find graphical issues or the software or your PC itself start crashing. So let's set 50, click into apply. And now once more, you want to run the benchmark as we did before. And you want to do all these increments until you find one stable clock. Now, I just find what I believe is the best overclock that I can get for this graphic card, and these are my results. I could get a little bit higher. I have tested with 200 Hz in the memory and wasn't a problem. But one thing that I recommend you guys to do always is when you find your maximal overclock, set it up a little bit and also test it out with some different games because it can happen that it's going to crash in one game or another. So one good recommendation is to set it back a little bit once you have found the best overclock of your system. Now, do this safely, and once you have arrived to an overclock, which one you are happy, you want to click into the settings right here, and you want to set a start with Windows and start minimize. Click into apply and OK. Now, you want to click right here in the Windows button to apply this overclock as startup of Windows. And another thing that you can do is to save this overclock right here and set it into any of on the right side. And that is pretty much it, guys. Enjoy your graphic cards. And if you have any questions or problems, just let them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, my friends. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe is more than welcome. See you guys on the next time. Bye bye.